to this week's G.I. Joe Tory Review, where we will be reviewing the classic figure of the Cobra Officer. But uh, before we get to their, his review, we'll do our shout-outs. Kind of last-minute decision. But uh, I hope everybody's... For first off, before we get to our shout-outs, I hope everybody's having a very safe, sanitized, and social distance COVID-19 safety plan. Um, so... You know, the best, my best advice is to practice your social distancing, staying in six feet, and all that other good stuff. Wash your hands, keep yourself sanitized, and stay at home if you have to, or if you can. But go out only if you have to. But uh, these are our shout-outs. Back to the media, at, which is on 41 South Loudon Street here in Winchester, Virginia. You can find them on the net at their website of www.backtothemedia.com. Back to the media at gmail.com is their email address. You can find them on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I follow them on all three. And uh, you can also check them out for their video games, your comic book needs, as well as your toys and music needs and movies. Check them out to see what hours they're open if you're in the Winchester area. You know, see if they're open. Because I know most stores and most places of business are closed. And if you're in the neighborhood, Time Traveler Toys and Collectibles on Loudon Street on 115 South Loudon. You can check them out for their for their games, toys, and collectibles. Um, time Traveler Toys at gmail.com. You can find them on Facebook. And they are actually open and they are actually at a come in and acquire on a certain top a certain item or go in and check them out on their you know go in and buy whatever you're looking for you know there's no browsing going on there because of this COVID-19 uh, pandemic so go ahead and check them out so let's go over and get to our feature presentation which is the Cobra officer but let's look at his file card uh, where it says uh, the enemy Codename Cobra Officer. File name unknown because there's many of them, so you should have put various there. They did on everybody else. Primary military specialty is infantry. Their secondary military specialty is artillery and intelligence. Birthplace is various countries. That's because there's multiples of him. Cobra officers are the frontline fighters who lead Cobra attack units. In the battle, many are used are also believed to be operating as spies and def in, at defense plants, nuclear power facilities, etc. All are martial art experts and masters of disguise, deceit, and demolitions. Qualified experts: AK-47 assault rifle, PM-63 machine pistol, M16. Ingram M11 submachine gun. And here's, here's the quote. Cobra officers are dedicated to destroying G.I. Joe and the American way of life. Beware. They are extremely dangerous enemies. I don't know who that quote was from. It doesn't say. I don't know if it's from a Cobra officer or from somebody in the Cobra command or a civilian or whoever. But that's the quote. Just take a look at his gear. Starting off first is the G.I. Joe figure stand, Upraised Cobra logo, codenamed Cobra Officer. And like I've said many times, the codename part could have just been taken off and just said Cobra Officer. Uh, he also comes with his AK, I believe this is an AK. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Comes in silver, pla like silver plastic. And he also comes with his little... Uh, knife like the Bazooka Trooper, Scarface, and uh, the Cobra Trooper comes with silver blade and hilt, black handle, pretty nice little dagger. And he also comes with his removable helmet with the little Sevron logo on top, blue, moldy sky blue plastic on the inside. And that was the helmet. So let's take a look at our boy. Uh, Cobra officer comes in with you know bald head, silver mask, 
and he's got his typical blue uniform that goes all the way down. Silver Cobra logo there on the arm. Playing on the other. And a silver logo right there in the middle of his chest. He's got his little red buttons on his lapel. Silver web gear. With the blue shoulder blue and silver shoulder pads. He go all the way to the back. Of course he's got his little blue waist piece. Blue pants. With his little black sleeve uh, dagger holder with the Silver buckle, silver knee pads. Continues with the blue pants under the knees. Go down to his black boots. And he's also got his blue uh, gloves. So let's take a look at his artic articulation. Typical, tip uh, typical articulation with every modern figure. His head goes 360, as you can see. His arm goes up to there. And his arm rotates all the way around 360. His elbow does bend as well as rotate. He can rotate it to wrist 360. He does have his ab crunch, but yet it's kind of hindered by the uh, web gear. Typical T-hook at the legs. He can lift his leg up this way. About 90 degrees. Double knee joint. He can lift his... Well, bend at the ankle. As well as rotate at the ankle. So that's the articulation for our boy. So let's take a look and look at him in his uh, battle gear. And here he is in his all his battle gear glory. Uh, he makes his first comic book appearance in issue number one with the other troopers and officers. And uh, he makes his first cartoon appearance in issue number one, uh, episode number one in the of the Mass Device in part one, episode one, in season one. This is a awesome, awesome, awesome figure. Even though he's in plain clothes, plain uniform, kind of like the Trooper and the Bazooka Trooper and Scarface. But it's like a very, very awesome figure. So I would rank this as a top tier figure. This is one of the best army builders you can ever get. Uh, so I would suggest always have more than one of this guy. He has a very, very awesome look. You know, from top to bottom. This is how a military figure should look, in my opinion. Um, you can check out the the uh, Finches version of him on the video in a review by uh, ACC788. And I think 4MBX257 does a version of him also, a Vintage version of him. So go ahead and check them two videos out. I may be wrong about the 4MBX257's video, but I might he might have it. I don't know. I don't remember seeing it, but uh, that's my version of Cobra Officer. Very, very awesome figure. Like I said, this is a must-have, top-tier figure. This is a great army builder. And uh, for those who don't know what army builder means, army builder means uh, a guy that you can troop build. He's kind of like the uh, best way I could put it is the. Uh, He's kind of like the, the, the clone troopers, uh, the clone, uh, blah, blah, blah. the stormtroopers of Star, the Star Wars franchise. So go ahead and, you know, and get multiples of him if you can. Uh, he's an awesome, awesome figure. Tune in next week as we do another awesome figure, in my opinion. But even though his character is annoying as hell, but his figure is awesome. And that would be... The G.I. Joe uh, Specialist, Big Lob, Mr. Sportscaster through his own, uh, does his own sports commentary through his own fighting. <laughs> but uh, that's what I found so annoying, but he's still a cool figure, still a good character. So tune in to watch Big Lob next week. So this has been the Cobra Officer. Remember, for you guys to uh, 
practice the three S's. Safety, sanitize, or sanitize, safety, and uh, social distancing. The three S's. So uh, tune in next week to watch Big Live. Stay safe, wash your hands, stay six feet apart, all that other good hoopity hoopla. And uh, we'll get through this coronavirus soon. It's, hopefully it'll be ending soon. So check check out uh, Big Live next week. This has been Cobra Officer. And like always, now you know, and knowing is half the battle. Love y'all. See y'all in the next one.